Yo dudes! Welcome to 5 Minute Tikka Masala. Tikka Masala, Boom. the perfect Anglo-Indian curry. Originally, theoretically, it was derived from a taxi driver uh, in Glasgow, went in to get a curry. The curry was way too spicy. The chef came back, put in tomato soup, came back, he tasted it, thought it was amazing. All his mates came in, suddenly went in the menu, and now it's the best-selling curry, best-selling dish in England. Uh, yeah. We're Here gonna we cook go. this in five minutes. It's a really simple, snappy dish. On your marks, get set. Go! Okay. Party started. First step, Ooh, get that pan on. Serious high heat. Okay, I got three scallions. Scallions cook quicker than onions, so. In, the, in a dry frying pan, one tablespoon of cumin seed, one tablespoon of coriander seed. Literally, the, it's a dry the pan. The paste is the, is the most important thing here. So we're making a paste. So in my paste, so I have a blender jug, two cloves of garlic, I have a thumb-sized piece of ginger. This is organic ginger, so I'm not peeling it. Half a red chili, in it goes. I have a bunch of coriander, all I'm using is the stalk. In it goes. Uh, garam masala, I'm taking one teaspoon of it. Good heat, generous teaspoon. Uh, I have a bit of smoked paprika, I'm gonna put half of it in. That's gonna add a nice smoky kind of oxtail, nearly meaty like flavor to it. Uh, I have one teaspoon of salt. So question, Mr. Flynn, could I simplify all this and just add in a couple of tablespoons of curry powder and a bit of cumin? Yeah, if you really didn't have much, you could. But uh, if you do want to follow this recipe, I'd highly recommend it. It's very tasty. Yeah, they're all available in most supermarkets. Okay, one tablespoon of tomato puree. That's going to add the body of it. And let's take these. Uh, as you can see, I'm prepping a collie. This dish, we're putting a cauliflower in it. You could put courgette, peppers, whatever else you're into. Okay. Pan but cauli, I think, hot. is traditionally. Okay, ideally, if I had more than five minutes, I would properly toast those spices, but let's just get them in there now. Wow. Yeah, your hands are pretty good. You sure your flame is big enough, Steve? My flame is pretty sweet. Okay, we're going to blend that until it's smooth. Okay, I've got one tablespoon of oil gone in there. Wow. In goes the scallions. Steve, get out of the way. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, you might need a little bit of help just stuffing everything down, just making sure you get it all. Okay, that's not working great. I'm gonna take the can of chopped tomatoes and pour it in it. One must adapt quickly. Can of chopped tomatoes, in it goes. Boom, that's working. So in an ideal world, I'd have longer time, I'd make the paste, and the paste I'd just add into the curry as it goes, but this is five minutes, we gotta adapt. Okay, I'm gonna throw in half that sauce now. And that's gonna be quite nice and spicy. Yeah. How are we doing time-wise, Mr. Flynn? Got about two minutes. Okay, keep her moving. Let's get the rest of this sauce in there. Okay, I have a, one can of full-fat coconut milk. This is adding the creaminess and adding a kind of sense of fat. If you wanted to make it lower fat, you just use low-fat coconut milk. Smell is fantastic. It's really yeah, it is. spices on the heat. Lovely and aromatic. Okay, rest the collies in there now. Okay, and I'm adding in the rest of my curry paste or my sauce or my spice packet, if you want to call it that. Time is one minute thirty-five left, so we're cruising. Yeah, this is. And again, there is two of us, so it might take you ten minutes on your own, but it might take money take eight. I don't know. It could take you 15, but the whole idea is just to highlight that kind of healthy or healthy cooking can be quick and you can actually do That's it. That's cool. Yeah, there's a can of chickpeas to go in there, Mr. Glenn. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Sorry. Here we are. Oh, yeah. A can of chickpeas, in they goes. Cause, so uh, one minute Normally, left. it is um, a tikka masala. It's normally chicken-based, so we're doing a, a chickpea. And um, regularly in the cafe, people come in and they might see a, a chickpea korma and they'll go, can I have the chicken korma? Um, so, anyway. Very nice. Okay, so we're putting coriander. Is that it? Yeah, no, yeah. 53 seconds, well, we're cruising. Cruising. Okay, you want a seasoner? Yeah, I want a little taste there. I'd like a little bit of lime in there. So, oh wow, the heat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. If you like these dishes, I think we've got about 25 minute dinners, which we've done at this stage. So uh, check them out, there's loads in there. And oh, thank wow. you for subscribing. If you subscribed, we really do appreciate it. Mm. That's actually very balanced. 30 I'm seconds gonna, left. I'm gonna give a tiny little bit of lime. Or a lemon. Or Jeez, that's really good. 
Ready is. Okay, we don't have lime, so I'm just putting a squeeze of blood orange in there, just to add a little bit of acidity. Very nice. Well, so yeah. lime would be preferable, obviously. Okay, serving suggestions. We've 16 seconds, so that was cruisy. We actually did that in about four and a half minutes. Okay, I'm getting a bit of yogurt. I'm using soy yogurt because I want to keep it vegan, but use whatever yogurt you like. A uh, good blob of it. Okay, let's get a nice bowl. Three, two, one. Boom! Get off, job done. Okay. Okay, so we got it in the bowl there. We have a good glob of yogurt, whatever your yogurt of choice. So that's a soya yogurt where you're using a little bit of flaked like almond and possibly a little bit of coriander to garnish. Ah! Oh, Mr. Flynn, you're a genius. Here we go. Here we go. Five minutes. Five minute tikka masala. Here Here's to you, taxi driver man in Glasgow. Beautiful. Really pop. Flavors are actually reasonably well developed. If you, you were served that in a restaurant, you'd be delighted. Yeah. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Share it with anyone you think needs some dinner inspiration. Thanks, Mel. Cheers. Bye. Bye.